what I have to do, I will do. And nothing on earth can prevent me from doing that to you. Remember that. Go to any place. Go to Ministry of Women and Children. Go to Minister of SCST Minorities. Nothing can prevent me from doing what I have to do to you. He is here. Hello, bloody bastards. Is it clear? Okay. I will call it's you, Mr. Until you deserve to be called, better by your names. And you will get attendance only if your camera is open throughout the class. If not, go to hell. I will not listen to anybody. Nobody on this planet can make me change my decision. If I make it. Is it clear or not? Yes, ma'am. 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 When I'm getting such kind of emails, you know, that uh, my grandfather died two days ago and therefore I will not attend classes for few days. Now, this is very shocking, very shocking. It shows a total non-application of the human mind, isn't it? If somebody's grandfather has died, how does that prevent him or her from attending classes? I do understand. I'm a Hindu. My parents tell me that I am born a Hindu. I know that there are some customs to be done. But I also know during these COVID times that there is a restriction of all these religious rituals which we do on the demise of a person. It's not important whether the grandfather died of COVID-19 or something else. What is important is the government has set down completely clear rules stating that there will be this is the minimum you can do for your country. Please switch off this background sound. Please move your cameras and let me your ears. Listen to me. If you do not get out of the class, I have 20 mics for you. I will give zero to everyone.